Hello. My name is Benjamin and I am the master of ceremonies. I will be your guide through all this folly. If at any point you start to feel uncomfortable, just use the safe phrase. I eat beets. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah. Come on over. Um, yeah. I have a couple things I should do. Uh, I have a couple things I need to do, but yeah, come on over. Sounds good. Great. Hi Shelly, it's good to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time. I've been a fan of your work for a while now. Uh, I want to talk first a little bit about the show you had last week. Um, you're a Brooklyn artist. You show mostly in Brooklyn. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what it's like working and, and showing your work around here? Yeah, sure, definitely. I have actually heard a, a fair amount about Berlin. I've never been, but uh, I think I think from what I hear, they'd be very receptive to your your type of work. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about uh, about the internet as a medium, as as not just a tool anymore? It's not. I, I think inter I think the internet has brought itself to the table in a way that you know the same way that photography. And um, same way that photography and, and video and collage and sculpture and music have all found their seat at the table, I think the internet's going to be uh, finding its own seat at the, the creative community, not just as a delivery method, but as its own medium. How do you feel about that? As I did. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for coming by. It's always great to see you. Really appreciate you taking the time. Good luck with the tour, 
and uh, I think we're going to head over, get a, a word from our sponsors. Before we do, we have a little dialogue on politics, so let's enjoy that. Oh, is, is it time? <laughs> yeah, it's that time again! Here Get it, Dave! <laughs> Yes, hey Nancy, how do you feel about gay marriage? Uh, you yeah, are you know, I, uh, oh, well, I think, oh, this tomato. Well, I guess everyone should just do what makes them happy. Oh. <laughs> That's our show. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Metroplex News, a summary of news, weather, and community activities. Join us each weekday at 11.30 for Channel 11's Metroplex News. he gets the best of milk. Ask your doctor about pet evaporated milk. Hello again. Are you enjoying yourself? I just wanted to pop in and see how everything is going. How about we head over and watch some story time? Tonight's story is Where the Wild Things Are. Story and Pictures by Maury Sendak. I almost forgot. I have a special microphone I like to use. Let me grab that. It's a microphone that I feel helps me to capture the subtle nuances, the details, really, that I like to convey. Here we go. Where the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind or another, his mother called him wild thing. Max said, you have no hold on me, dear one. So he was sent to bed with an empty belly. That night, in Max's room, a great tempest blew and blew. The walls shifted, and the clouds came down from above. It was then that Max realized he might be about to witness his own death. All his friends appeared before him, and flowers fell from the sky. What knee bent plea to God might save his imperfect soul? He stripped the clothes from his youthful body and pushed his nails deep into his own flesh. Renounce me, for I see now that I am not worthy of the earth upon which I stand. My selfish consumption will only lead to the death of us all. Take my ugly body that is so filled with lust and violence and dissolve me into the ether of perpetual calm. The life force around Max heard his plea and proceeded to break apart all space and time. Each atomic particle surrounding Max's body shifted slightly apart to absorb the contents of his now worthless body. A great heat incinerated all that he was, and in an instant, Max was gone. All that was left 
was an empty room and a mother shuffling pots downstairs. Balance and order had been restored, and the night was once again clear and deep. Only the faint song of the evening nightingales could be heard as they began to sing a new tune. Just wonderful. I sure do love that story. That that's a good one. It's it's a classic, really. You know, most most stories just can't uh, can't withstand that sort of test of time. Uh, this one I, I remember very fondly as a kid, and 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 I think it holds up quite well. Um, thank you for joining us for story time. We'll see you next time, and and until then, stay calm, stay connected. It's a uh, it's a good thing. Okay, good night. Oh, Mr. Wiggles. Shake him. Oh yeah, let's sing a song. I have killed already, but I am not to blame. Did it for the fame and the glory. Bye.
smiling through, just like you always. 